Terrifying cave diving accident. Paul Heinz Esser's horror story. What if you came to know that your family member has been missing and you can't even get closure on it? It is the worst feeling ever if you come to find the dead body of that person after 40 years. The same thing happened with Paul. After being buried for nearly 40 years, his body was found in a lush cave. So hello friends and welcome back to our channel. Please stay tuned to the end of our video for the most terrifying story of cave diving. A young scuba diver's body was found in a Welsh cave after it had been there for almost 40 years. On the 13th of February in 1971, cave diver Paul Heinzesser passed away while exploring the Porth Eir Olguff Caves in East Stratfelt. While he and three other trainees were scuba diving, he somehow managed to lose a safety line and become trapped inside the cave where he ultimately passed away from drowning. Even though the body of the 21-year-old could be found at the time, multiple attempts to rescue the body were unsuccessful because the waters were treacherous and there were issues with visibility. However, Mr. Esler's body was only recently located, almost 40 years after his disappearance, by the South and Mid Wales Cave Rescue Team in response to a request from his surviving family members. Two divers located the remains, which had been basically in the same spot since 1971, and they were able to make the discovery. It is believed that Mr. Esser's mother preferred for the body to remain in its original location, but after both she and Mr. Esser's father passed away, the divers' remaining relatives requested that the body be recovered. During the process of recovering the body, members of the family were present. The cremated remains have been delivered to the family undertaker so that they can be interred. It is generally accepted that Mr. Esser will be laid to rest next to his parents. When he passed away, Mr. Esser was a student at Bristol University studying medicine. His family had lived in the county of Surrey. Since the disaster, there have been cave explorers who have gone back every year to the site to pay their respects to the deceased student who would have turned 60 this year. According to Jules Carter, chairman of the South and Mid Wales Cave Rescue Team, enormous technological advancements made the retrieval very simple. He stated that we were asked by the police if we would help with the recovery and two of the most experienced divers took part in the operation. These divers reported that there was only a very slight risk to themselves throughout the recovery process. Paul Esser had a great deal of expertise in scuba diving in open water and was just beginning to train for cave diving. It was a terrible accident that occurred. Since the 1970s, cave diving has massively advanced thanks to technological developments, according to Mr. Carter, who stated that this was the case. A representative for the police department stated, It is a horrible story that occurred such a long time ago that no active police officers can recall it. Mr. Esser was located at the time. However, despite numerous attempts made over the course of the subsequent weeks, his body was never able to be recovered. Because of this, he's not been moved from the spot where he passed away. However, his remains have finally been recovered and given to his family so that they can hold a funeral service in accordance with their religious beliefs. An inquest was held, and the conclusion that was rendered by the local coroner, Peter Maddox, was that the death was the result of an accident. In the history of contemporary caving, this area sits in the unenviable position of holding the second highest number of fatalities in a single cave in either the United Kingdom or Ireland. The majority of the unfortunate events have taken place in a location known as the Revival Pool. Nevertheless, the authorities have stated that Mr. Esser was not located in this location. Porth Eriogoff is described as an open access cave with multiple openings and a very nasty reputation for deaths on the webpage for UK Caves. So, that's going to do it for today's video. We sincerely hope you enjoyed and were entertained by our video, though it was certainly about a sad subject. We ask that you please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can see even more incredible videos from us. And don't forget to like and share our video with all your family and friends and others who will be interested in such videos as ours here on Cave Diving. Hey, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Have a great rest of your day and thanks for watching.